good morning guys welcome back to my channel so my morning has already been um a little topsy-turvy look i said i gotta get a um something to hold y'all with when i'm in the car but i'm on my way to philly to take a makeup course and i don't know if i mentioned this on any of my videos before but i've really been trying to get to this course literally for like the whole year and i stay in tulsa oklahoma if you're a new subscriber and our airlines it isn't what is it called like it doesn't have a hub i don't know just meaning like we can't do like a lot of direct flights so i ain't gonna hold you i've been looking i've been looking trying to find the tickets to philly that wasn't gonna cost me an arm and a leg but after a while i'm just like forget it i'm just gonna invest in myself and it is what it is um so initially i was supposed to be flying out of tulsa at what 10 30 or something and we supposed to board around nine and then i woke up this morning woke up around seven and then i got an email saying they canceled my flight and i'm just like bro okay so <laughs> with that being said now instead of it taking me five hours to get where i'm going it's going to take me eight i'm really not tripping because i'm just like okay maybe that needed to be changed or what have you but now instead of flying to dallas it looks like i'm gonna be flying to chicago have a layover then from chicago i gotta fly to virginia then virginia to philly so all in all my trip is about to take over eight hours and i just really really hope that these plane rides go smooth because i am not a plane type of person like the last time i think i did really well and it could be because my son was with me and i didn't want to see <laughs> i didn't want him to see me freaking out and that was his first time on a plane so that could have been it but i'm used to like short short distances you know what i mean like flying to vegas or um texas something with my surrounding uh, city or whatever but this is my first time flying east coast and that's a long ass time to be on a plane and i don't want to just be intoxicated like every time i get on a flight uh ma'am let me get a <laughs> one of them tiny bottles of wine you feel me so hopefully i have a pretty cool pilot and co-pilot and they know what the hell going on you feel me so right now it's 808 i started to lift here but once i looked up the prices it was like almost 15 dollars from where i was to get here and then oh here you go y'all was really looking for some tissue it's like 15 dollars to lift here when i could just drive and pay covered parking it's like eight dollars a day and i'm literally only going to be gone until tomorrow like that's that's how tough i'm thugging it out y'all like it's literally a turnaround trip and now instead of getting a philly at five i'm going to be getting a philly supposedly around seven almost eight um which low-key kind of sucks because your girl hotel that i got um uh, i won't say it's like expensive expensive you know but it's it's a little pricier than the like a regular room and i really wanted to enjoy all the little amenities because i got spas and all that stuff like that but hey it is what it is so i'm about to go in get through tsa like i said hopefully there's no problems with nothing i'll pay for my covered parking i'm really early but i'd rather be early than being late because baby I got left one time I was in Vegas. I'm like, oh, I ain't never doing that again. And I don't know what it is, but I keep telling myself to put some tissue in my nose. I don't know. I I was nervous because I thought they were saying that I was going to have to fly to Florida and then fly all the way back to Philly. And I'm just like, what? Any 
face covering prior to placing the mask over your nose and mouth is for everyone's safety so literally my whole trip has been like flights connecting 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 i flew from tasa i'm gonna carry me with this mask look <laughs> like y'all can uh answer yes. um i left tasa flew to chicago i was literally only in chicago for 30 minutes and i was so freaking hungry i got me some fries i low-key burned my tongue trying to eat all this shit before i got on the plane <sighs> then i just left chicago to va um, so I'm sitting here in Virginia now and I got like a two hour layover I'm still hungry because all I had was some fries but they don't have that many restaurants here they got this little bar over here to say here here's to the heroes and it's packed over here ain't no mask of course because people are drinking but ain't no six feet <laughs> they got that and then they got this little grill place over there but it's like real heavy on meats. I feel like I seen some salads, but I didn't really want nothing from there. So a good thing I followed my first line and grabbed me a jacket because it's definitely raining. It's been raining off and over here. And this is this low key is like my travel jacket. Cause I feel like every time I went to Vegas, I didn't had this damn red pullover on. <laughs> and someone just told me like, grab this gray jacket. Cause when I look at the weather and it's silly like, um, it was saying that it was supposed to drop down to like 60s at nighttime. And I was like, damn, that's wet. It's been hot as hell in Oklahoma. Even at night. At night, it's been at least low 70s. So, your girl came prepared. I don't know what I'm about to do. I'm about to just chill here. I don't know. I might give me a little drink once it clear out. If it clear out, I might have to turn it around and zoom in so y'all can see all these damn people here. But... Yeah, that's just a quick update. Um, I ain't have to get no little bottle of wine or nothing. Normally, I'd be on the plane freaking out, but I've mastered my breathing, and I'm really proud of myself. So, I was cool. I was cool the whole time I was on the plane. I mean, I'm just vibing out. So, I'll probably pick up back when y'all when I'm finally, um, finally in Philly. I'm really sad though because I was supposed to originally land at five and I wanted to at least like um be there during the daytime. Now I'm gonna have to see if they got like a shuttle or something that'll take me to my hotel instead of like a lift, but we'll figure it out. Girl, so we made it. You feel me? I'm out here waiting for my lift driver. I was gonna take a train to be adventurous, but uh they said it was gonna take me like 45 minutes to get there and it's only 20 minutes to lift so i'm not about to do all that um i'm hungry i'm gonna try to figure out what's close to my hotel it's not as bad as i thought it was supposed to be because the weather was like it was gonna drop down to like the 60s or something y'all hold on hold on hold on please get this whole entire real quick <laughs> y'all know feeling my ear <laughs> This is my airport attire, and it is freezing in that damn airport and in that, um, in that airplane. So, I'm glad I low-key wear socks because I hate socks. Yeah, but I'm about to do that. Um, the hotel I'm staying at got some pretty cool amenities, but I don't know how many things are open due to COVID. And then seeing that I just landed, I'm supposed to get here in like 30 minutes, but... 30 or 35 minutes, but I really feel like I probably pushed it to 15 because cause we was flying in the sky. So, yeah. Just sitting here, I think that's on my lift driver. About to pull up in this lift and then see what I could do. Try to change this outfit and uh, give me something to eat. All right, gang, I'm finally in my room. I am so tired. Lucky, I have been on a plane off and on for eight hours today. So, I'm not used to that, but... Okay, so boom. Have y'all heard that um, Tiffany had his dream when she was like, Ooh, this is nice. They ain't got no roaches in here or nothing. <laughs> but this is cute. You know, I only just needed a little something. Because it's just me and I'm living here for a night. Bathroom... 
if y'all know me, y'all know I am a sight person, like everything. I need to see the sights. So I'm about to open all of these as soon as I figure my life out. morning guys it is six probably six thirty in the morning and obviously i don't have anything um to put you guys on so i just woke up obviously and i'm holding you with my arm outstretched <laughs> holding you with my arm outstretched but i didn't really do much last night um like i said i really don't I don't know anybody here at all. <laughs> and with COVID going on, um, I didn't want to be gallivanting around the city, especially by myself. Um, so I pretty much just um, called my best friend because once I got here, the restaurants were closed in my hotel that I'm staying in. They did have a bar. The bar stayed open until midnight and then I want to say the pool and the gym stayed open to 10 but I literally got here like what around like 8 50 ish or something like that so not too much to do anything so I'm like where can I go and um it's a lot of restaurants on this strip I'm so used to being in Vegas on this strip on this block so I end up going to um Hard Rock Cafe, as you see. I went there and ordered their bang bang shrimp. I can't do coleslaw, y'all, so I ordered that on fries. So I was talking to this lady, but more so like listening at first. Her family was from Jamaica, and she was just telling me how much uh, how much fun it is during Christmas times, and they're very big um, on like holidays and their culture and everything like that. She was sitting next to this gentleman, and so I kind of like interjected uh, when she was talking about horses and girl. <laughs> y'all know I'm from Tulsa, right? Oklahoma. She was like, "Do y'all still got dirt roads down there and ride horses?" And I'm thinking, "Girl, I mean, we do ride horses, but that's not all. Like, we got cars and buildings and everything else, like everybody else. Plus, our downtown is low key." on the come up but um they had never heard of black wall street well she said she heard of black wall street but she said she thought it originated in like atlanta or something like that so i had to give them a quick little just just a little bit I'm like you no know, it comes you know it comes from mascara and Tulsa. but um if you don't know about it look that up on google it's too early in the morning for me to get into that with y'all but I'm just really, 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 really thankful. I have to insert my views. Um, because literally, my friends and I, um, we do a vision board party every year. And uh, last year, my vision board that I put down um sorry y'all last year's goals that i put down on my vision board um they all came true only thing that didn't come true is the travel part and i mean hey we couldn't travel what was i gonna do about it um but everything else like as far as my shop and different things i wanted to accomplish like my big stuff came true so i have been talking about this trip all year and i put it on my um on my uh lower my uh my door and board yeah i put it on my board so I, this is one of my main goals that i've been talking about for um for the year is that i wanted to come to philly come to philly come to philly come to philly and everything that i have done like in the past couple months have been like a struggle like as far as trying as far as trying to like get here and things like that because we don't have direct flights like i said before from there 
Um, and then one time I was going to fly out of Dallas and then come here. Um, but then all the people that I was going to this party for or to this Memorial Day weekend, I want to say it was Memorial Day weekend or something, but we were supposed to have like our annual lingerie party that we have every year. And a lot of people got make the trip because of that. And I was like, man, like that really hurt my feelings, y'all, because I have been trying. I'm like, dang, I need to get to this course. I want to be able to enhance my skills and what I do. And one of my other goals, I'm going to go ahead and share it with y'all because, I mean, we cool or whatever, is I want to be able to do travel when it comes to my services I offer because, yes, I love my hometown. That's where I'm from, but I really want to try. I really will start traveling, offering the services. And also, I know that's going to um, extend my brand and bring your girl more money. You feel me? Um, so yeah, I just, I'm just really excited that I was able to do this with the help of my guides, you feel me? I didn't have any fear on the plane. I normally freak out on a plane or, but I didn't have any of that. So I don't really have too many, too, too many words. I'm just in awe. Um, I know I was scrolling on TikTok last night and I see, I've seen like this girl's videos on my, my FYP. It was more so like a lot of doubting or not even doubting her wanting to know how's everybody manifesting these wonderful lives if they don't have the funds to do it. Like how she's supposed to follow her goals without the funds needed for her goals. Does that make sense? And I don't know. It just, it takes a lot of faith and it takes, and it's not like an overnight thing. I'm not saying you're going to go get a board and then uh, write all your stuff down or whatever. And it's going to come true tomorrow. No, that's not it. Uh, like Nip said, like it is really, really a marathon. Like you got to write it down you got to start speaking it. It's like a, a spell. And not no Harry Potter type stuff, but it really is. Like, I, I don't know how to explain it, but I want to help. I want to help people understand that it is possible for you to change your mind and how you think about stuff and look at stuff because you can alter your own reality. You can. You can do whatever you want to do. I keep saying that, like, you can, and you really have to believe that, though. You can't really go in, have saying it, and then still worry about what everybody else is saying. Like, you can't play the universe like that. They know what's going on, you know? But um, I don't know if I have time to redo my braid or not. I had my little sister do me a braid, like, a couple of days ago, but it's been a couple of days, in my hair is like super oily girl and it's giving a slip on slip off and i'm like do i want to braid my hair again before i be in here and what if i sit down and something crazy happened to it so um the class starts at eight i still gotta brush my teeth put on clothes and i want to be able to catch breakfast this morning because um they have complimentary breakfast with the room that i that i got and yeah I'm really excited to meet her because she seems really nice. I've spoken with her off and on for like this past year on Instagram. Um, what else? I don't know if she's going to let me record everything. I doubt it because this is her class. It's a one-on-one -on -one class. It's for four hours. So, I guess we'll see. Uh, at least film as much as I can or as much as she'll allow me to but I'm about to get my ass up and uh, get it started I gotta get better with GPSing because when I was looking at it last night um, it said 
It was six minutes away from the hotel, but I think it's like 18 minutes away. 16, 18 minutes, I don't know. I'm glad I wasn't lazy laying in the bed. Um, Cause I would've missed the damn class. Okay, y'all, so I entered a couple of clips in there uh, of me being at the shop and then what they look like afterwards. Like I said, I highly doubt she would want, you know, want me to record everything. Otherwise, girl, why would she be selling the course? You feel me? Uh, I decided to just come straight to the airport. It's kind of a drag because my flight doesn't board to 450. And I've been here since almost noon. And I'm bored, but I just couldn't see myself keep paying Uber to go everywhere. Like it ran me 20, like $23, I want to say, to get to her. Then it would have ran me the same amount to get to the mall. And I don't know how far the mall would be from the airport. But it's kind of like, damn, am I um, blowing almost 70 something dollars on Uber fees on top of the stuff that I want to get on the mall? So. I just brought my ass here and I just been sitting in it is freezing. I done put my damn socks back on that I had. I got this jacket on. I'm low key about to put on my airport jacket that I had on yesterday because I can't do it. Um, It ain't even nobody really here. They just had a flight leave like an hour ago though and they were jam packed. So I hope my flight isn't that packed. Because my other flights, it wasn't that bad. But anyway, so back to the course. The course was bomb. She was a really nice person. Um, I'm hyped. I can't wait to go home, do my books, balance everything I need to, and uh, start putting out more content in regards to my makeup. And yeah. It's like really surreal, though. Like, I'm really proud of myself. Like, the whole time I was there, I was smiling so hard. Like, I felt like a little kid in the candy store, I promise. It's just it's just so exhilarating when you plan or put down a goal that you want to accomplish and you accomplish it. Yeah, it's dope. But, child, I got a whole another two or three hours. I don't know if I feel like going to this bar and drinking some wine. Maybe that'll cool my ass down. I mean, cool me down, warm me up. You know, when you start drinking liquor, you start getting warm. Because I got goosebumps and some more shit. I don't know. But I'm flying to Atlanta. I don't know how long my damn layover going to be there. So I might check back in with y'all once I get to Atlanta. I don't even know if y'all can hear me, but uh, I just got to... Uh, Got on a train in Atlanta, and I'm gonna be here until, I don't think my flight leaves tonight. Hopefully I can find me some food here, cause I'm really hungry. And uh, when I said I was knocked on that flight, I was knocked. I didn't have to have re hurry up and run over here to get on the train to get to my next exit. So, that's the end. Please hold on, this train is departing. The way I got my foot on this pole, I need to go ahead and get another job as an accountant. Because this train fast as hell, but I don't want to touch this pole because everybody else is touching it in my hands and it's house in my bag. I wish I had 
have more time to. Uh, I wish I had more time to. Uh, uh, to uh, what fucking look around and stuff. Okay, so. Child. I'm gonna give it to y'all. Y'all, uh, YouTube was just in a game to get y'all shit together because I've been in gas. Snatched and all type of shit trying to keep up with what the hell is going on. Am I tripping? Let's see. Okay, it gotta be on the other side. I'm up here trying to. What the hell? Atlanta, I'm gonna need y'all to get y'all fucking time together. Let's see. Terminals BA escalators is this way. Ciao. Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna try to concentrate and read what's going on because I'm trying to figure out where the hell I'm going. On top, I'm making sure I ain't gotta uh, knock nobody else so I can't uh, bring my damn pepper spray on the plane and shit. Yeah. Ooh, another thing. Okay, so um, I know I said early in the vlog that I let my little sister do my hair or whatever because I don't want to go down there looking crazy. But, baby, when I tell y'all this ponytail is holding on to the reds and it's because, you know, my hair is so oily, the gel didn't wear off. But look, 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 look. Can y'all see that? If it wasn't for Monique, I would have uh, slid this braid off in the plane. Okay. <laughs> but listen here, my loves. If it get any looser, I'm definitely tying this bandana on my head. You feel me? All right, let's see. Let's see where the hell I gotta go. C33. I hope there's some other. Oh, they got Carabas. That sound good. Let me see where the hell I'm going first before I try to sit my ass down and eat. Let's see. 33. I really wish I got over my fear of like flying so easy. When uh before all of this shit happened because I would have been cool beforehand. Okay. Let me check my ticket. I'll be back with y'all. As y'all can see, your girl is back home. I made it. Um, it was such a fun trip. It was, you know, it was a business trip. So it's not like I got to do a lot of stuff because, hello, I was down there for a hot night. That was all. Um but i'm just waking up i haven't really slept well in a minute this is my mind been you know and it's just a lot going on in life with all the stuff going on in the world and all this so i really appreciate it coming home sleeping in my own bed even though my hotel room was really nice it was awesome so let's see we about to open this goodie bag that she gave me let's see all of the stuff Okay, so it looks like I got some setting powder from AC Cosmetics. I got a video on it. If y'all haven't seen it, scroll down on my videos. I did a um, AC Cosmetics versus Laura Mercier video. Okay, I got me a Real Techniques brush for the cheeks. She gave me some Bear With Me. This is good. This is a makeup staple. Make sure y'all put this in your kit or at least in your personal stash. Okay. She coming through with the gifts. She got me the setting spray from Charlotte Tillsbury. I don't know why I always put um, 
a S in this lady's name, but it's Tilbury. I always call her Tilsbury, so that's bomb. Look, I'm so excited. I'm like a little kid in the candy store, okay? She got me Duo. That's fast drying glue. And some primer from Smashbox. I have one of these in my kit. Some blending brushes. And this is the big boy right here, okay? She got me a highlighter from Makeup by Mario. If you don't know who that is, that's Kim Kardashian's makeup artist. I'm really here for it. You know, like, I'm glad it all worked out. I'm I'm really happy and I'm so excited to start this journey. Don't worry, I just wash my hands. Wash my I need to wash my face better, but I definitely just wash my hands. But I'm excited. I'm about to start doing more content. Um I'll make them at the shop. I don't want y'all to think, you know, y'all getting bored because I understand it's like it's so many different makeup gurus. That's not what my whole channel is gonna be based on. But since it is, I am Janae. Y'all gonna get you know what's going on in my life and that's a part of my life on the other side of esthetician i do need to get some models in for that as well because those videos did really well as far as like the different things i do in a shop like the facials and the sugaring and stuff like that so i'm gonna get that in and yeah i'm about to just start vlogging every day because somebody gonna watch it you feel me because when i watch vlogs a lot of my faves and i don't really have that many it's not like uh you gotta just be doing something you know all day or something that's just off the wall to hold somebody's attention if somebody mess with you or they like your content or your personality or your vibe they gonna mess with you no matter what so anyway i'm gonna close out this vlog for today what's today child I think it's Thursday. I'm going to try to get it posted tonight. If not, tomorrow. And make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Oh, go follow me on Instagram. I have it linked. And then I'll link the makeup artist class that I want to go see so y'all can check her out. It's SG on the beat. But like I said, I'll put all her stuff in the bottom. Turn on your notification bells. And I'll see y'all in my next video.